somebody's going to ride into town, a sheriff is going to ride into town and is going to save us all, right? That there are these kind of magic, heroic figures that are going to reduce, magically reduce crime, right? And we see that over and over again, whether it's a new police chief or a, a new elected DA or a mayor or, e or even a charismatic judge. But I think that we kind of um, are highly susceptible to these figures. And, and in, a, in a way, the book was wanting to push back against a kind of over-reliance on the charismatic individual who comes to town selling, sometimes selling magic beans, right? Again, just like the over-reliance on charismatic figures, sometimes I think that the fight over ideas and over ideology obscures um, the realities of program implementation. And, and at the end of the day, if we want to change things, if we want to reform the criminal justice system, which at some level I think all of us who do this business are interested in, in continuing to improve the criminal justice system, while it's important to talk about ideas, sometimes we shortchange um, thinking about program implementation. And there's a great book, which is now a little long in the tooth, by a guy named Michael Lipsky called Street Level Bureaucracy that really speaks to this. That at the end of the day, if you're interested in, in changing the world, you've, you've got to focus not so much on conversations at the mayoral level or the le level of Congress. You really have to focus on what do judges do every day? What do police officers do every day? What do teachers, what do you know, um, school superintendents do every day? And in some small, modest way, we wrote this book, my colleague Aubrey Fox and I, to try to um, focus a little bit more attention on, on program implementation rather than ideas.